Hey everybody, welcome to MT Guitar. Today we're going to do uh, technical exercise number three, um, and it's going to be in the key of B minor. By the way, uh, this is the first electric video, and I'm changing my background, uh, my normal background, to incorporate my, my amp, my 1975 Fender Twin Reverb. So we're in the key of B minor in these exercises, and we've basically got um, a few different patterns in the minor scale with variations. We can um, get these really great exercises. So let's zoom in and see what's going on. Okay, so we're in the key of B minor. And uh, B minor is a very important key, partly because it's the relative minor of D major. So D major, we sort of see a lot with guitar music and um, a lot of times when you have a song in the key of D, ma D major you play B minor anyway so even if it's not in B minor you still need that scale a lot and uh, it's a great scale for many positions including this pentatonic position here which a lot of people know about but the first um, sort of scale you want to learn with B minor is more closer to the neck so this exercise, I've, I've created uh, sort of four different variations of patterns within the minor scale, natural minor scale. So this is the bread, sort of bread and butter minor mode, which is just the natural minor mode. First, before you kind of attempt these, th these are intermediate. Let's learn the minor scale in case you're not aware of it. Um, so we're going to do second position, first finger on the second fret, and you're going to do fifth string. I'm just going to go up from here, all right? Second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, second fret, fourth fret, second fret, third fret, fifth fret, second, third, fifth, okay? Back down, and then below that, fifth fret, third, second, so, you know, you really should get comfortable with that scale and feel free to pause and uh, kind of woodshed that a little bit. Now we're going to start the patterns. And what we want to do is we want to think about ways that we can make it so we don't have to think about what we're playing and we're just working on our technique. So we're going to do patterns so that we don't have to uh, guess or improvise, which is great to do, but sometimes you just want to work on technique only. All right, so we're going to do uh, three up, okay, and then you start over the next note up from where you started. So you started here, now you start here. See, then you start here. So I start on the first note, then the second note, then the third note. Always alternate picking. Slowly. Follow it all the way up. Okay, that's as far as we can go because we're doing a fixed position uh, pattern here. Once you get there, you're done, and to go down, we want to start with the high note and head down, and then we do the same thing. We go, we head down again from the next note down. When you get down to there, that's usually the last one I do, and then, and then we're done. Let's do that whole thing slowly. So that's the first pattern. Second one is a variation of that. And all that's changing is after you do this, instead of starting here and going up three again, you reverse the order, meaning you reverse the direction of the second phrase. So instead of 
You're going. So you go up and then down. Up, down, up, down. Nice and slow. Down, up. Okay, that one was down. So the next one's up. Down, up. changes where you say I'm going to go down every other one and up every other one it becomes more musical it sounds a little less like an exercise which is great okay so those are that's the first half those the two of four next uh, I love these um, these are skipping a note so if I have the scale that's great I can just go up stepwise meaning note by note or I can skip the second note and go to the straight to the third note and then start over on the, on, on the next note up. Skip this note now and go straight there. Second to fifth, fourth to second, fifth to fourth, right? So nice and slow a few times. Skip a note. speed up on that it's, it's a lot of fun to do and then once you get here you just you do the same thing going down a little slower Those are called thirds, and um, when you go stepwise or note by note, it's called seconds because you're moving a second interval away. Here's, you know, um, this would be unison or a one. This would be a second interval, a third interval. So you're going to a third, third. All right, the last variation is the toughest, and uh, practice all of these slow, especially if you're um, a little less experienced with technique. And this ne next one, you're going to reverse the second one, meaning you're going to go up here when you skip a note. Then you're going to skip a note again, but instead of starting here, you're going to start there. Harder than it sounds. <laughs> uh, right? It's not, it's not so easy. So nice and slow. We just did this, we went down, so we got to go up, see, and then down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. That, that's pretty um, tricky at first to get that. Ready? the whole thing slow. at 145 BPM for the first two exercises. And then for the second two exercise, the third and fourth exercise, I did 190. For the, for the first two exercises, you've got to do it in triplets, 
And for the third and fourth exercises, you do them actually in eighth notes. Um, so there you go. Practice with a metronome. It'll, it'll help a lot. Uh, you can get an app on your phone or use a website. So there you go. Practice these, and it's a lot of fun. It'll really help your playing. It's not the most exciting thing sometimes, but it does pay off. All right. All right. Well done, everybody. So you've got this B minor exercise. Study away, play away, get your technique up. It'll pay off tenfold. Go ahead and subscribe to MT Guitar. And if you haven't already, leave a comment, hit the notification bell. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.